Hey there, Chad Bonja here for Ohio University Libraries. One really cool feature about Simply Analytics is that you can create a map and overlay businesses on top of the map. Okay, so basically you create a map of whatever demographic or consumer variable or criteria you want to, and then overlay the businesses, whatever you want to, by name or by industry or whatever, on top of that map. It's kind of complicated, but this is this video shows you how to do that in Simply Analytics. This video is also part of my Simply Analytics Tips and Tricks video series, as well as it complements my Simply Analytics Tips and Tricks guide, which you'll find linked below. Hopefully it helps you. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a map like this uh, and looking at uh, consumer information for a particular product or, or product category. In this case, we're looking at organic food consumers uh, by uh, counties right now in the state of Tennessee. Now, let's say you want to try to open a uh, business in one of these kind of high demand areas. Uh, what we might want to do then is look at uh, competitors in the area. And you can do that in Simply Analytics by looking at the Businesses tab in Simply Analytics. Now, there's a couple ways of doing this. So let's say I'm looking at, um, I'm looking for health food, right? So I can go in and type in health foods. Uh, let's just do health food here. And this will go in and do a keyword search for health food for um, for the for the the industry or the company name across the board there right so um, you'll see once we do this it kind of creates a map uh, and it puts all of the uh, businesses and if we click on one here you can kind of see here is Moss Munchie Mobile and it looks like it falls in the category of, of food health supplement stores or health and dietetic food stores right if we click on this one up here. Uh, sometimes they can be a little bit a little hit or miss here and there. Um, let's see. This is uh, Green Boomerang Incorporated. Uh, let's see what's down here. Uh, here we have Nature's Nugget to Natural Foods Incorporated, right? So we're finding some good stuff there. Um, so it looks like our, our, our just our general keyword search seems to be on target. If we go over here, we can click on Businesses. And this will give us a list of the businesses. And right now we're looking in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we can ch actually change this to the state and find all of those businesses, 350 results that pull up uh, due to our health foods uh, search there. OK, so if you're finding that search didn't really work very well, uh, what you can do is go back and look at our map and maybe you want to try uh, browsing by business categories or using an advanced search. So if we browse by business categories, we can either do a, a NAICS code search or an SIC code search. And I would encourage you to use both to see which one gets you a little bit better results there. Okay. So if we go under NAICS code, for example, we can go under retail trade here. Uh, here's grocery stores. And then here are supermarkets and grocery stores. And it looks like we can't really get any more granular than that there. But it does give us another list of potential uh, competitors uh, for the location. OK, so it's a, it's a great way to kind of do that. Right. Uh, again, and then we can go over and look at our businesses. And then now we can change that to our grocery stores in Tennessee and get a, and get another list. Right. So it's a great way to kind of look at competitors across the board there. So uh, and by location, uh, things like that. So it's a good way to kind of compare um, what kind of companies are in your region. OK. You can also go under and do, use an advanced search here, and this way you can actually search by um, you can search by the the company name. So if we're looking for particular lines of grocery stores, we could do that here, uh, or we can go in and search by SIC, and maybe want to say uh, starts with, and we can look and say let's look for health, and so here's like health and dietetic food stores. If we click there, and then now there's one for health foods. Let's look at that one. This may be a little too granular, but we'll see what happens. We'll do a search there. And so this finds a much smaller set across the state of Tennessee for health food stores. But again, we can go in, uh, look at individual. Um, there's uh, uh, Herbs Natures or Herbs Natures, depending on how you look at that, right? Um, so there's different ways you can go in and look at that information. Again, we can go back over to our businesses here, change this to the SIC search that we just did and get our list there. And once again, like most stuff in Simply Analytics, you can go up and export this as a Excel file so you actually have it for uh, for your own information for later. So, so there you go.
Hopefully this video helped you better understand how to use Simply Analytics. Make sure you check out my other videos about using Simply Analytics, as well as my tips and tricks guide linked below. Take care and best of luck with your research.